Let's look at all the Total Justice action figures from Kenner getting the license back in 1996 to make these superheroes from DC Comics. They did well with some Batman and Superman lines, so they were given access to the Justice League itself, any character they can do. It's kind of my first opportunity in the 90s to be getting some of these characters outside of Batman and Superman. So we're looking at Wave 1 and 2 here. I have Robin here in the package, one I never got as a kid. We kind of see the packaging here with again getting to see like the line that would have the Flash and Aquaman and Green Lantern on it. It's pretty a big deal at the time because they only ever had Batman and Superman toys. So the gimmick here is going to be they have all these armor kind of gadgets and costumes because they're getting ready for Dark Side to invade. So I'm just going to open a Robin fresh here to show you from the line. Do do do. I mean, they'd be showing the Super Friends and some other variations of on the TVs at this time. This line actually had a few characters that weren't ever on cartoons. But Robin was definitely on that Super Friends and that sort of thing, of course. This is kind of like a cooler Robin, a little more older. Uh, he just has a movable cape here. It does have pegs there to hold in place, but mostly they just kind of clipped around the neck just from the shape. But that can kind of go in there to be more firm. Classic Robin outfit. These are just five point dudes. They're in little combat kind of stances, little action pose a little bit, mostly to go with their special gear. So here we have the Total Justice logo. And he has the Robin symbol. He has a chest piece snaps on there. This was always a weird mechanism these would have once in a while, just kind of a push instead of like a spring trigger. So it looks like he has a disc launcher with the Robin symbol that just kind of goes down into this hook. And it's just planted in there, but you just have to push the back to fire it. And it is freaking gone. Where did it go? Definitely shoots far with that mechanism, but not my favorite when you can't just hit a button. So he could kind of have this snapped on if you wanted him to be shooting a disc. Kind of hard for him to wear all his stuff because then he has this uh, spinning blade. The package just has him holding it in his hand so it's not really going to be able to spin I guess. Angle this outward a little bit but eh, just his shape. Just kind of a staff weapon I think probably comic book is probably using that. So. But with this line you know Batman and Robin having some gear and gadgets makes sense right? But we got the Batman of course in kind of a weird stance just still five points turning head and legs moving up and down. No just cape he has these kind of wing pieces which are pretty interesting. I don't think they're really supposed to come off but they kind of can. Now here we can kind of see that they will lower and raise and then kind of turn on the spot however you want to have him if you want to have him you know, up maybe some kind of flight going on there but he did have some armor pieces but i've kind of lost a few i don't have the chest piece that he's supposed to come with uh, he has some leg armor here kind of had these little turnable rockets that you could probably say are just for flight but they did kind of snap off if you were going to shoot them like a missile using your imagination but i've also lost the other leg that had the total justice <laughs> logo on it uh, and then he has a helmet just kind of a visor we didn't really have a feature like a missile launcher or anything like that. But that was your kind of standard Batman of the line. And again, so Batman and Robin here with some weapons makes sense. But all the other characters have kind of goofy armor as well. Mostly I just like this line because I was getting these superheroes I could never get. Like Aquaman, which this was a pretty big shock at the time. They didn't go with the standard orange and kind of short hair. They went with the more modern of the time of the 90s. The hook hand and big old beard and stuff. Still you could tell you know it's Aquaman's got his A symbol belt and he's got the fins and stuff. Just kind of different armor and appearance a little bit. So a little jarring at first but I was just like hey I can get an Aquaman figure finally. I don't care. <laughs> I'll catch up. It's just funny that they didn't do like the appearance that would appear in cartoons more. We had a few armor pieces here. One tiny little weird one that goes on his hook arm. Which I don't know if it's been warped but it doesn't quite snap on too well there. So pretty lame piece. He has like a chest piece that goes down onto the shoulder. Of course his hair kind of gets in the way. It had these kind of blade pieces here. That could spin around whatever you were going to do with that. I'm not sure what the point was other than yeah, he's got some blades. Look out. I didn't use the armor pieces that much. <laughs> 
I just like the figures. Uh, he has a huge missile launcher clips onto his arm. This one's actually a spring-loaded shot. And it's kind of like a harpoon shape. He kind of has like a little side scope there. Aquaman symbol on there. This is a pretty cool shooter. I definitely like this piece more. You can kind of see some kind of interesting machinery here. Maybe a little nautical if you pretend hard enough. <laughs> I can snap right onto the wrist, then it turns on the spot so he can kind of do his harpoon shot like this. Okay, that, you know, that happens sometimes. Maybe the shooter isn't too strong there. <laughs> I might have worn it out. It usually shoots a little farther than this. Maybe there's some gunk in there. Come on now. Fire for me now. Okay, well, there was a little bit. But he had a pretty cool, cool missile. Probably the most used part of the armors for me, other than, you know, Batman having his Aquaman with his kind of harpoon gun. But just kind of interesting that they did the modern 90s Aquaman, which kind of leads me to believe that this line end up leading to making action figures for, you know, the more adult or grown-up collectors because this line that kind of evolved evolved into catering to maybe the comic book fan a lot more later just getting more comic accurate costumes and a lot less play features like these had with the early waves that <laughs> wave aquaman get it we got the Flash, and it certainly looks like Barry Allen, but it's actually Wally West, because again, these are going off of kind of the modern 90s where Wally would have taken over for the Flash. But to me, you know, watching the cartoons and stuff on TV, this was just the usual Flash I had known. The costume was pretty much like it. Plus playing the Justice League Task Force video game on Sega Genesis, getting to play as these kind of superheroes and stuff. Got to know, you know, the Flash and stuff a lot more from that, so I love having these thinking they were kind of based on that game even though some of the appearances weren't quite uh, alike but again he's just a five point but he is in a, has some pretty good poses for running just the way he is too of course i did play with these quite a bit so he's got a few paint chips and things like that his armor makes a lot more sense for him too we have kind of some wrist pieces here here's his piece with the total justice part on there he's had these little lightning bolt kind of things that you kind of extend or they did I don't think they were meant to really come out, but they could come out. So it's just an extra detail there, one for the other side. The same kind of yellow circuity lightning looking kind of thing there. There on his fists, leg armor, which, you know, makes sense for the Flash. Kind of had these little, uh, you could say they were guns, but they were probably like jets. You know, maybe some kind of speed enhancer even and on top of that. On top of his super abilities, one for the other leg. The same turning kind of thing there. They're looking pretty good so far, but then he had this sweet kind of chest piece with the kind of wings, you know, much like onto his mask here. Snap that on, got the flash symbol, have these kind of in the back, kind of streaking with speed, so it was kind of like a cool speed enhanced suit for him. It was kind of like this one, these kind of like moved a little bit, he was kind of like fanned out there. Interesting, I mean, again, I mostly just like actually having a flash action figure because I missed out on maybe those early superpowers action figures were a little too early for me in the 90s. But a decent bonus accessory, this kind of snap-on armor. And flash is looking a little more appropriate for his superpowers. And I got to have a green lantern, but it wasn't really Hal Jordan, it was kind of the Kyle Rayner. Again, the newer version of him from the 90s. But again, to me, it was just the same cartoon green lantern, as far as I knew as a stupid little kid that couldn't get comic books. So he's just a five points dude, but again, the costume, the newer style, but still pretty classic with the mask and ring and all that pretty sweet. So he's another one that his armor pieces kind of make sense because they're kind of a translucent green so you could imagine that he made them with the ring. So he kind of has some armor on. Makes sense, you know? Uh, there were supposed to be two leg pieces. I just have the one left, of course. A sweet chest armor piece with a cannon. Kind of can slide around in this slot here just for different positions. I think I used to play with these with Silly Putty and there's little bits dried on them still. So not unlike something that he would make with the ring, you know, shooting energy beams at whatever villain. And then kind of Robin style shooter there. It's almost the same thing, just a little bit different design. Of course that could snap on and then it's the same kind of pull the thing back. Of course the piece comes right out, just so you know. But he could shoot his disc like a little Green Lantern power shot. 
again kind of the more newer green lantern kind of symbol still like the lantern shape but again having these heroes you know other than batman superman you got flash aquaman green lantern i was like yes please finally after all this time would have loved a lot more legion of doom but we got the big bad boy dark side in this line as a villain he's pretty big of course in comparison to the other guys pretty awesome he's still just a five point but he could again like big heavy attacks like in that justice league task force game you can see it really played with this one he's got some some war wounds from some battles with <laughs> superman and whatnot uh, but he doesn't have snap-on armor his thing is kind of stuck to his arm so he always had this stupid claw thing the one flaw here i wish this was removable and you could have just had a sweet looking dark side figure so it has a kind of push mechanism in the back and he had the claw it was it was a good play feature that he could catch the justice league guys and beat the crap out of them but i just wish it was like some kind of snap-on mechanism but i guess they had to make it the whole arm have the trigger you know coming out the arm here the one problem with the whole thing is not enough villains and the big one they did he's got this like permanently like oh I'm going to play the claw game with your life. Finally, something besides, you know, the Joker and the Penguin <laughs> for some bad guy action figures. Dark side. He did make some appearances in some Super Friends kind of cartoons, so I definitely knew of him even without the comic books. The Infinity Claw. Oh, wait, that's somebody else. So this is our Wave 1, although Wave 1 and 2 are pretty close. Wave 2 having another kind of Batman that I just didn't bother to get because it's just another Batman. I tried to get it for cheap, but people were wanting a lot, and I was like, eh, it's just... I already have Batman for this line, so he just probably had a missile launcher and hooray. So naturally missing from the packaging, Superman, of course, not my favorite Superman. He's a little, uh, he's a little like that Batman kind of comic where he's the thicker retired Batman where he, they got the Batman versus Superman from. Kind of chunky. Big cape, hard plastic, and that just kind of clips to his neck. We do have the 90s mullet. Superman though. I definitely like the Man of Steel toy line. I have some plenty of videos of you can check at the end of this one. I like that appearance a lot better. But this was the Superman of this specific Total Justice line. And naturally Superman has some armor because why the heck wouldn't he I guess. Let me tell you it's strange. You can tell already what is going on. Snap on chest piece with these wacky mirror things. Maybe some kind of power blocking. Or maybe he just really liked his stationary folders in the 90s and he just wanted to show them off is what it looks like. <laughs> got a wire here and he's got like this crazy kind of gun sort of thing. Green like he's shooting kryptonite beams. Not a wise move, Superman. I wouldn't be shooting kryptonite all over. Who are you fighting other than yourself that you want to shoot a kryptonite beam? But it just had kind of a spinning thing, like a little bit of ghostbuster -y action. Bzzz, oh boy. Not one I used a lot with this. <laughs> really kind of made no sense. If there had been like Zod or you could almost justify it with Bizarro or something. I, I don't know, but not really making sense shooting the kryptonite beams. But he had to have something there. Interesting idea though, but weird armor and a weirder Superman. Just the way he's kind of shaped. Luckily I was able to get another superhero that I never thought I'd have an action figure of. Hawkman. Another one I would have got to see in the cartoons a little bit. So this is a freaking sweet one to have. Full wings. He just looked awesome. Had that classic Hawkman symbol he would have already had like in the cartoons and stuff. Probably more comic based I'm sure. Still just a five point and then this one's a little harder. Not really a moving head just because of all his wings and long hair. He also had his armor here. Just kind of a big piece. This almost kind of reminds me of a... Uh, the Centurions that they have the snap-on armor like power extreme is just one big set here with these talons large talons that you could just kind of you know he could do the pincer thing I mean he could grab a dude makes sense I guess for Hawkman but kind of weird you can see that the plastics are turning different colors <laughs> from the pincher parts you almost just kind of take the claw parts off and he just kind of would have an armor piece that has these tabs if you want him to just be more free and open to play with. Really good looking one in Hawkman. Another link to that Justice League Task Force game as a playable character. Another big villain, Despero. This is one I wouldn't have seen on a cartoon, so I didn't kind of know what his deal was. He almost seemed a little Aquaman villainy because kind of a fishy kind of fin going on. So I didn't know much about the character other than from the fighting game, playing that, having to fight him. 
But at least I knew him from that. So I was like, hey, all right, another big, strong alien dude to fight for the Justice League. Why not? <sighs> Has a little bit of He-Man uh, snap punch action. He came with a rapier sword, <laughs> sort of. Interesting choice. Again, I didn't know anything about the character, so I was like, he has a sword? All right. No goofy armor for him, so again, that's where I'm it's just kind of leading to comic accurate. Uh, he does have a peg here on his leg to hold that sword, too. That is handy. I did come with a big gun. Don't seem to have it here. I might be able to find it after this, uh, but the gun, I think, holstered in the back here, too. So he just had kind of standard accessories, not a lot of wacky armor pieces. But he did have that punch. Not the villain I would have picked, but maybe he was kind of getting big in the 90s as a villain. They so started kind of tailoring this line to collectors after this. Much later ones are just strictly comics of the time characters even. So eventually we'll look at the Wave 3 of the Total Justice. They also open other retro toys and things here. You can check out my Man of Steel playlist of action figures too. And I'm hoping to open a lot more Batman stuff eventually. So you want to get subscribed so you don't miss any other super awesome retro toys like this. I open new and old of all kinds here. Hopefully I'll get to see you in the next video.